Joining us from the Gladys Porter Zoo is Alejandra Rodriguez. Afternoon, Alejandra. Good afternoon. Bringing with you a snake. It's been a while, so okay, I'm going <laughs> to let this slide. <laughs> So you brought this snake. What kind of snake is it? Um, so she is a Great Plains rat snake. I always have to enunciate because yes. it does sound like rattlesnake right. sometimes. I was going to say, what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and uh, what's funny is that in addition to the name, right, so rat snake, um, so they're, they're really great at controlling rodent, uh, rodent populations, all of that, but um, in addition to sounding like a bit like rattlesnake, um, they actually have certain ways of mimicking a, a rattlesnake. Well, the scales, they look so much like it. Yeah, so the and pattern. this is Pebbles, by the way. Yes, this is Pebbles. She does have quite an adorable name. Uh, she is a cutie, you can see if you see her face as well. Um, <laughs> so the patterns, the colors, all of that, they seem a little bit uh, the same colors as, as a rattlesnake. Um, also, they will f they kind of flatten their head. Um, also, they'll, they'll move their tail in the in the leaves and all of that so when when the leaves are moving it seems or it can sound a bit like a rattlesnake as well um, so they'll have that but they these are also really great climbers so you might see them cl uh, climbing on trees I have seen them on the side of a building as well or like a house um, and, and they can get quite long as well so mm -hmm. is pebbles fully grown um, she is she I believe she is so she's a little I think she, I was reading up on them, they're like, up. Can yeah. get up to five <laughs> feet long, so she's... So she looks a bit smaller when she's curled up, but she is a little bit longer there. They can get to be about five feet, um, but they average usually closer to two and a half uh, or three feet. All right, mm -hmm. and she's part of your education department, mm -hmm. and right now it's a busy time. It's summer, kids yes. are out <laughs> for school, they're on summer break, and you have so many activities, starting with a, the summer safari. Yes, so we do have our summer camps and summer classes. It's a great time to take advantage of that um, or, or get the kids involved in something else educational during the summer, um, meet different animals kind of like pebbles or um, a bunch of other animals that we have there. Um, you get different activities, crafts, all of that. Uh, tons of fun for the kids. I did it when I was a kid as mm -hmm. well. Um, and it's the first time I touched a, a snake, tarantula, a and chinchilla. Now look at you, you're look a at me now. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> And you have a play date this mm -hmm. weekend. Yes, so we do have, uh, so World Giraffe Day was this past Wednesday, and every year we'd like to have an animal play day themed off of that as well. So this Sunday, um, starting at 1.30, from 1.30 to 3, um, there'll be some keeper chats, um, uh, different kind of coloring sheets for kids as well, so you can speak with a, with a keeper, learn a bit more about uh, giraffes in general, um, and then there'll be some animal enrichment as well at 2 o'clock. And you can feed them. Uh, yes, so on the weekends you can actually feed them. Right now we had opened uh, the feedings daily, but because of the heat right now, um, yes. yes, we were having to go you. back I... to the weekends for right now. Um, but yes, Saturdays and Sundays you will be able to feed uh, the giraffes as well for only $3 per person. All right, mm -hmm. thanks so much for joining us. Lots of fun activities happening at the zoo. Yeah, thank you so much for having us. And we're going to be right back.